In today's video, I will teach you how to retouch a headshot in GIMP. Let's get started. Let's start by removing acne or spots using the healing tool. To do this, launch GIMP and import the headshot image that you want to retouch. Then duplicate the image layer to create a backup layer for comparison purposes. Then choose the healing tool from the toolbox or simply navigate to tools, paint tools, and select heal. Now customize the brush properties such as size, hardness, and force based on the size and type of spots that you want to remove. Then press and hold the control key and click on an area of the image to set it as the source of the healing. Then click on the acne or spots in the image to remove them using the healing tool. Continue using the healing tool to remove all desired imperfections from the headshot. Now we're going to touch up using the clone tool. Choose the clone tool from the toolbox or simply press the C key. Then customize the brush size and other properties from the Tool Options tab to suit your requirements. Then press and hold the Control key and click on a clear area of the image to set it as a source for cloning. Then click on the imperfections that you want to remove to clone pixels from the selected area over them. Then continue using the clone tool to touch up on any remaining imperfections in the headshot. Now we're going to apply Gaussian Blur for smoothing. Use the Free Select tool to draw edges around the face and select it. Now go to Filters, Blur, then Gaussian Blur. Then set the Blur Intensity, Blending Mode, and Opacity on the Gaussian Blur dialog window based on your preferences. Then preview the changes in real time and click OK to apply the Gaussian Blur filter to smooth in the selected area of the face. Then repeat the process to apply Gaussian Blur to other parts of the face if needed. By following these steps, you can effectively retouch a headshot in GIMP, removing imperfections and enhancing the overall appearance of the image. Experiment with different tools and settings to achieve the desired results. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.